Hello everyone, my hair is a mess again and we are ready for some more geogashing. Behind me you can see some uh, trolley buses. This is a trolley park. I know many countries don't have trolley buses, but in Riga we have them. Uh, so yeah, here they are. They are used for public transportation. So today we will be doing geocaching in the other side of Daugava, which is the river that goes through Riga. So you will see a different part of Riga today. Okay, and I have arrived at the location of the first geocache. Luckily, there are not any people around. This is like a very small alleyway. Uh, it was easy to notice, but it might be difficult to get. There it is. I think you should be able to see it right there. Um, I'll need to climb on this one to get it. Okay, and here I have it. A nice start to today's geocaching journey. We have now arrived at the next geocaching location, which is right at the memorial to victims of communist terror. Latvia has had a rough history. A lot of people were sent to Siberia or just killed. So this is the memorial to that. But yeah, the geocache should be somewhere around here. I think it is under one of those like roofs. I don't know which one. Um, I don't think this one. The king said that one of the roofs is different. Okay, I think... No, that's not it. Oh, okay. Nice, it is magnetic. So here we go, another geocache. And here is the memorial itself. A couple of uh, my relatives were also sent to Siberia, so it's nice to visit this place and, and pay, pay respects. So basically they just put people in these type of wagons and just drove away. It's crazy to think about it. The sign says that in 1941, 15,000 were deported and in 1949, 42,000 were deported. So. Yeah, didn't expect this geocaching video to take such a turn, but yeah, what, what can you do? But it is time to go to the next geocache, guys. And now we have arrived at the monument for a Latvian folklorist and writer Fritzis Brievzemnieks. Here it is. A pretty cool looking monument, I would say. Some rocks and, and trees with some carvings. I like it, personally. Don't know about you, but the geocache, I think, is under one of these benches. From what, what the hint said, the hint says when you sit down, it will be on your right side or something like that. Uh, well, nothing here. Well, nothing here, maybe the other one. I was standing here thinking maybe it's not behind the uh, bench, but underneath the uh, bin. Maybe it's a magnetic one. Oh, I have to get on the ground for this. Ow, <laughs> ouch. I'm glad it didn't hit my head. But I can't see anything. Oh my god, I spent like 10 minutes here looking around, touching the bottom of the bin and wherever. Turns out it's literally underneath this bench. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it was magnetic, but I never thought it would be a magnetic under a, a, a wood. <laughs> kinda, kinda uh, beat my expectations. Well, that took me longer than it should have, but I am very glad that I finally managed to find that uh, cache. Now we are going to a uh, Lutheranical Evangelical Church of Latvia or something like that uh, in a day-to-day -day life. 
uh, people call this church just Tuernikans church since the area that I am currently in um, is called Tuernikans back, back in my days when I was uh, learning to drive a car my instructor used to make me drive around here all the time so here is the church itself a pretty big one at least a pretty uh, tall one I've been there once before for a wedding but the geocache is 70 meters ahead of us it looks like it's on the other side of the street you can hear how the train is going uh, underneath the, the bridge can't see it although you kind of can't see it if you look carefully uh, but the geocache I think is somewhere around these stairs at least the coordinates would say so somewhere around these stairs okay let's let's see if I can find it somewhere here I don't know if it's magnetic or or or, or not where if I was a geocache where would I hide like maybe maybe under there it's kind of looks like a possibly possibly you can hide it somewhere here Oh, actually, oh my god, I didn't expect it to be that small. Is it actually a geocache? Like medications usually come in these packagings. But yes, yes, there is a geocache. So that was an easy find, which is I'm very happy about. Now we are heading to St. Albert uh, Catholic Church. The previous one was a, Luther, a Lutheranic church. This is a Catholic church, supposedly the largest Catholic church in Latvia in terms of the uh, size. So here is the church itself. Pretty big indeed. Pretty big and uh, beautiful looking. And the other direction we have a hospital. All of these houses belong to the hospital. So each of the houses has a different unit in it basically so but the geocache is like 30 meters ahead 30 meters ahead and supposedly it should be pretty easy I mean that that <laughs> sometimes I struggle finding very easy ones too so that doesn't necessarily help this is a pretty public place as you can tell a lot of cars around so it's somewhere here I think it might be there in that uh, under the fuse box or something because that's that's the thing that stands out here and uh, it should be it's supposed to be magnetic so I guess it works as well so I'm being pretty careful because there are janitors there on that side but I did notice that there is a geocache under there Okay, that was a pretty easy find indeed. So the next geocache is at a hotel called Janne Hotel, apparently built in 1910. It's a pretty old hotel. Um, okay, it should be somewhere here. Right at the entry. At least that's what the coordinates say. Or is it a little bit further? I, I can't understand. GPS isn't always that precise, you know. Okay, I think it is pretty well hidden, but I think I found it. I think it is right here. Yep, here it is. This place brings back such memories. In that building in the distance, there were some uh, university parties back in, back in the day. <laughs> and here we have a police. Well, luckily I haven't had any business there. The next geocache is 100 meters back from where, where I came from. I drove past it. I thought it was a little bit further down this way. Okay, but uh, here is how this part of Riga looks. This is Agenskans now. Uh, we were back in uh, 
the previous uh, region was called Tuarnikons. This was this is called Augenskons. And the geocache is around like 70 meters here. As you can tell, this is a very public place indeed. A lot of cars and buses and everything going around. Um, the coordinates are saying somewhere here. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's the tree or the traffic light. I'm guessing it's the tree. I don't think anything should be in a, hidden in a traffic light. So let's have a look at the tree. Okay guys, it was not in a tree. I decided to look around and oh my god, it is such a, such a, such a visible place. <laughs> here it is, literally just, just hanging here. I wanted to find another geocache in this video, but that one is called Urban Climbing. And it is level 5 difficulty and you should need an, uh, like an alpinist equipment to get there. So obviously not gonna do that so <laughs> two other videos will appear on the right side of your screen huge thanks to all of the members for supporting this channel and making all of this possible i hope you all have a wonderful day be kind to one another and see you in the next video